welcome back to Red Ted Art. Today we have some little finger knitted owls. They're super cute. You guys have been asking me for some more finger knitting projects, so I decided to have a go. And specifically, one of you asked um, for a finger knitted keychain. So these owls can either be super cute little keychains or um, you know backpack charms, or like this one. This is going to be a little um, snowy owl. Christmas tree ornament. Yes, I know it's summer, but you know what? You can never have too many ornaments. So come on then, let's take a look and see how they're made. So to make your little Audi, you're going to need um, so two colours of finger knit, uh, well wool. Um, this is sort of medium thickness, don't make it too thin. I think a little bit thicker is better. Some bits of felt that I've already cut out, googly eyes, scissors, and later some glue. Now, if you don't have googly eyes, um, you can use uh, white bits of and uh, black bits of felt um, and if you don't want to use the glue you can always do a bit of hand sewing so the first thing you need to do is find the two find some ends I'm just finding it I'm actually just I actually got both ends here if you can't find both ends of your wool um, get about two meters worth of uh, wool times two and and start your knitting with that so start your finger knitting by doubling up your thread, holding it between your thumb and your pointy finger, index finger, wrap it round the back, go over the front, round the back, round the pinky, over, behind, over. That's the beginning. And then you repeat it over the middle finger, behind, round the pinky, over, behind, and round. Now to finger knit, for those of you that you already know, you now take the bottom one and pull it over. I always start at my pinky. I don't know if you need to, but that's why I like to start. Make sure everything is as tight as possible. So I've got my first row, and I'm gonna just tighten this at the back, give it a good tug, because you don't want a huge loop at the beginning. If you pull this too far across, you're gonna get a big loop there, so you don't want that. So pull it and then, um, you know, try not to pull it too hard when you carry on. So the next row, come in between the two fingers, over your middle, behind, round, over, behind and round. Again, take your bottom two. And give it a good tug. Okay, it's time to change your colours. So I've got two threads here. I'm gonna come and take my second thread. I think this might be a bit thin, but we'll see how it works out. Find the end of it. It's a bit messy. Here's an end. And now you're gonna take one away. If you want, you can cut it. So move that away. And as you go around with, this, with the one that's left, you also bring the new thread over. So you're replacing the one you've just cut with a new one. Did you see that? So I went and took the one thread, took my new colour and put it over the top. And then I carry on as per usual. And over, and I do one row. Give it a little pull. Then take both threads and I do a second row. And then I do my final row, a third one. So over, round. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this actually because my wall's a bit muddled. Okay, so now you have your final row. You take the one where it's, you've got the loose loop and you push it over and take the other one underneath. And then the same underneath, same, and underneath. 
and then you take your two threads and push them through making it nice and tight so you've got your basic shape this doesn't quite look like an owl yet but it will do don't worry so the first thing you need to do is where you changed colors you need to just tie these together and make a little knot so you bring the red one over and under and tie and then you repeat that red one over and through so that just makes sure that that's secured now you can either just cut it or you can tuck it under I'm just going to give it a little trim now you take these two make sure they're nice and tight and I'm going to bring them up through up to the top but only the white all the way and the red I'm going to leave halfway through so just picking this apart thread it through so the red one I'm just going to give a little tie off and then I'm going to snip it as well or actually you can snip it and then just tuck it in I just like to tuck it under there we go great then you bring the white one up to the top to meet these ones they're all together now so I'm going to just fold them bring them together like this wrap them around my finger bring it round and tuck this through so I'm basically creating a knot you may want to get a bit of help with that and if you can get the knot as low down to your owl's head as possible it's already looking really cute i'm so excited now the um red wool i use here compared to the purple wool is quite thin so you could maybe have done a fourth row but we'll see let's just check what our little owl going to look like i think it's going to be super cute <gasps> yes it is there we go look at that okay so get your glue this is really just strong glue you can use fabric glue or um, a hot glue gun or you know whatever strong glue you've got and if you don't have strong glue um, you can have a go at uh, you know sewing it on if you want obviously you can't sew on googly eyes but you can use felt eyes then Now the beak I put right where the head meets the body, yeah? Kind of just separates out the, the top and the bottom half. Here we go. That's your little owl finished. Now, this one, as you can see, is um, a keychain. So I plaited the three strands. Um, I can put a video down below and in the iCards to show you how to plait. And then there's a little knot. I put the key ring there, another little knot, and snipped it off. So that's how you add this. And this one, once it's dry, I'm going to just do a little knot at the top and trim it and then this will be um, a little ornament to hang in the Christmas tree. I know it's summer but when I was making them I thought they would work really well as both a keychain and as a little tree ornament and I kind of wanted both. So there you go, finger knitting done. Now remember we've got lots of other finger knitting projects. This one I would say even though it's really quick it's a little bit harder because you need to learn how to change colours but I think it's really really adorable. Um, do check out the other finger knitting projects up here and down below, I think you'll love them as well. And as per usual, share, like, comment, keep watching, keep creating and of course I'd love to see you again soon. Take care, bye!